This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verses 7 to 15. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Jesus sent his 12 harvest hands out with this charge. Don't begin by traveling to some far-off place to convert unbelievers, and don't try to be dramatic by tackling some public enemy. Go to the lost, confused people right here in the neighborhood. Tell them that the kingdom is here. Bring health to the sick, raise the dead, touch the untouchables, kick out the demons. You have been treated generously. So, live generously. Don't think you have to put on a fundraising campaign before you start. You don't need a lot of equipment. You are the equipment. And all you need to keep going is 3 meals a day, travel light. When you enter a town or village, don't insist on staying in a luxury inn. Get a modest place with some modest people and be content there until you leave. When you knock on a door, be courteous in your greeting. If they welcome you, be gentle in your conversation. If they don't welcome you, quietly withdraw. Don't make a scene. Shrug your shoulders and be on your way. You can be sure that on judgment day, they'll be mighty sorry. But it's no concern of yours now. The gospel of the Lord. To evangelize is Jesus the master trains his disciples in the art of evangelization. His instructions are few, but they are fundamental to their ability to accomplish the mission. The Lord wants his disciples to be grateful and generous. This value of generosity is becoming rare and costly today because nobody gives anything for free. There are hidden interests in everyone. Without cost you have received. Without cost you are to give. How often do we take time to think about what we have received? I don't know if it is our consumer society or if it is human nature that makes it so hard to see the goodness we have been given in our lives. Why is it it's so much easier to see what we don't have in our lives? How often have I felt small or unworthy by comparing myself to others or our cultural standards of success and wasting time and energy being preoccupied with my inability to measure up? How many opportunities to give without cost have I been oblivious to? The kingdom of God is meant to be shared, communicated and spread to all. In particular to the people who are unable to pay with anything including their merits. The message of the gospel is without a doubt a gift. It is worth a lot, but it costs nothing. It must be given freely without fear that it will run out. It is received as a token of God's mad love. This passage reminds us that evangelization or spreading of the good news is not reserved only for theologians and ordained ministers. How can we share the joy of the gospel in our daily lives? We received it without cost and give it without counting the cost. To spread the joy of the gospel is to bring peace, to welcome and to be welcomed. Greeting one another in the morning with a sincere good morning and facing life with a smile is a way of witnessing the joy of the gospel. Witnessing to the gospel also means being interested in the concerns of others and inquiring of the well-being of those connected to us. To evangelize is to look up from the keyboard or the computer screen when someone addresses you and look them in the face. 
To evangelize is to yield the way, the seat, or the preference out of gentleness or affection. To evangelize is to listen with patience, to speak without being heavy, and without putting my things at the center of the conversation. To evangelize is to drive with prudence, to be attentive to others, equals or pedestrians, to make life easier for them. To evangelize is to be helpful, to do small favors with joy and ease. To evangelize.